Having a newborn baby is a very exciting time, uh, but a lot of information is getting thrown at you while you're in the hospital. And one of the common things that you probably hear your doctor talking about is jaundice or your friends talking about if you haven't had your baby yet. So what is jaundice and why do we worry about it and what can we do about it? Infants before they're born in utero are exposed to obviously less oxygen than we breathe in this air out here. And so because of that, they have more red blood cells circulating through their body than we as adults have uh, out here in our 21% oxygen environment. Um, and that is to increase how much oxygen they can deliver to their tissues. Of course, once babies are born, they don't need those anymore. And so their body will rapidly break down and get rid of those excess red blood cells. And when we talk about jaundice, jaundice, the yellow coloring uh, that infants can get after birth, is caused by a chemical called bilirubin. And it's that bilirubin that gives the skin a yellow color. Well, where does that bilirubin come from? That bilirubin actually comes from the breakdown of those excess red blood cells, or any red blood cells uh, that we might be breaking down. So, when children are born, they start breaking down red blood cells faster than we would as adults, and so they can build up higher levels of bilirubin than their body can rapidly clear out. And as that bilirubin slowly builds, we get a progressive yellowing of the skin that we call jaundice. This is complicated in children by the fact that they also aren't able to excrete or get rid of bilirubin as quickly as adults are because they have a more immature body system. So they may not be stooling as much, and that's one method of getting rid of bilirubin, and also their livers are more immature, and so they cannot process it as well. So why do we worry about jaundice? Well, we know from history that high levels of jaundice can lead to brain damage from depositing that bilirubin into the brain. And that's why we as physicians are concerned about it. So what point do you as a parent need to worry? Well, typically the numbers for a full-term child where we worry about actual brain damage occurring are not till the jaundice levels are very, very high on the um, level of 25, 30 or even higher. But we as physicians, don't want to wait until your child is at a range where we have to worry. We always want to treat them early and maintain those levels as low as possible to prevent any risk at all of any brain damage. So how do we do that? Well, we obviously monitor your child's bilirubin level while they're in the hospital. And every hospital is a little bit different. We do now have machines called a transcutaneous bilirubin meter. Uh, and the transcutaneous portion just means on the skin. And you may see your nurse come into the room and run a little machine across the child's head, and they may be checking the baby's jaundice level. Um, if that transcutaneous level comes up high, then we will have the lab come and draw a confirmatory level from the child's blood. Uh, and the reason we do that is while our on skin measurements are typically pretty accurate. Before we start treatment for anything, we always wanna know exactly what are the numbers that we're treating. So, if the transcutaneous level is high, typically we will have a serum or blood level drawn, and then based on those results, we know does your child need treatment or not. Some hospitals will follow that transcutaneous level up to every 12 hours. Other hospitals will only do it on discharge. Of course, if a child ever appears to be jaundiced, they should be having a level done either with a transcutaneous meter or with a serum level. Um, when we see the results of that serum level, if it is elevated above where we would like to see it, then we know, okay, we need to treat your baby. And how do we treat jaundice? Well, probably more than 100 years ago, uh, infants who were in orphanages would get taken outside for walks by nuns who worked in the orphanages. And one of the nuns realized that the yellow babies, when they would take them for walks outside, seem to get less yellow. And that's how we found out that actually UV light, like the kind of light we get from the sun, actually speeds up how quickly babies process and excrete bilirubin. And so how do we treat it? We treat it with light. For kids with mild jaundice, we can use just sunlight. So you may hear your doctor tell you, oh, your baby's mildly jaundiced, but not more than we expect. When you're going home, feed them in front of an open blinds uh, so that the sunlight can touch their skin uh, and can get rid of it. If we're gonna treat them in the hospital, we use what we call bilirubin lights. And those are UV lights uh, that we allow to touch as much of the child's skin as possible to help them excrete bilirubin. 
Typically, this can be done in the room with you. Occasionally, your child may need to go to the newborn ICU for treatment, uh, depending on the protocol at your hospital. Um, but typically, what we recommend is the child's in as little clothing as possible. Kind of think of it like getting a suntan. You wouldn't suntan in all your clothes. We want that light to touch their skin as much as possible. So they'll be in their diaper with eye shields to protect their eyes from the light, just like we protect our eyes from the sun with uh, sunglasses. And they'll be put usually either in an incubator or in a small bassinet with a special blanket to have the lights touch their skin. To be most effective, obviously, we want the child to be under the lights as much as possible. If you're breastfeeding, your child should continue to breastfeed, but the goal would be to have them out from under the lights no more than 20 to 30 minutes at a time every two to three hours. If you're bottle feeding, the best thing to do is feed them with the bottle under the lights. Of course, if you want to spend some skin-to-skin -skin time holding your child, you can take them out. But again, the goal is to not have them out more than 20 to 30 minutes every two to three hours in order for our treatment to be most effective. Once we start therapy with lights, uh, we will usually follow a bilirubin level either later that day or the next day to see how your child's responding. And once we see that their levels have stabilized and begun to improve, they're ready to come out from the lights and go home with you. Further treatment will just depend on how they're progressing and what your doctor sees.